so for day two in paris i decided to go out for a walk early in the morning just me myself and i to explore the little neighborhood in which i lived and then i had breakfast so i went and had breakfast without Lou. i still have it here because it's like it was boiling literally so i couldn't drink the cappuccino and i bought um Lou um a croissant so i'm going to give it back to her and also it's very cold so i'm going to change because i'm wearing a really really light coat so yeah and then i'll go to the louver by myself and then lou will join me later so i just changed i'm wearing something more heavy and now i'm going to the louver and i gave lou the croissant she's still sleeping because she's tired yesterday was a really tiring day so it makes sense and She's already been there probably, so that's why I'm going by myself. The fastest way to get to the Louvre Museum was through the subway, but it was a little bit confusing at first because I had to change so many subways, but to be honest, it was like a very pleasant journey because the subways here are very, very pretty and I enjoyed every single minute of it. They're clean and not crowded as in many other places in Europe. I booked a play and then I'll call Lou and she'll draw me and she'll come to draw a little bit inside the museum so I'm about to get in I've decided that I'm going to visit the Asian and the African um, zone then I'll visit also the Greek uh, pavilion and if there is enough like time and space I'll also visit the uh, Grand Checa the Mona Lisa the one and only and then if I I'm not too tired. I also like check the Italian pavilion, the Latin one, and also um, the European sculptures. That's what I have in mind because it's too huge to do everything like in the morning. And um, yeah, there's like quite a long queue, but hopefully, since I already booked, uh, I've already had a reservation, I can like take over and just get in without booking anything. like very long but in 10 minutes I got in so that's great I thought it would have taken me hours to get in because it was like a kilometer long I'm not kidding and I'm in so I'm gonna visit it right now I'm so excited so happy can't wait to see everything that I have on my wish list I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I go to these beautiful museums, I love to look at the ceilings and I love to look at all those beautiful details and this one was gorgeous. To get to the Mona Lisa, there's like the longest queue ever. I knew about that, but it's so weird that to look at a painting you have to like um, get in a queue. It's so weird to me, but it's cool. Hopefully, I'll get a nice shot. Another nice thing was that I finally got to see all those famous paintings of which I have been learning from high school, like the famous one by Eugène de la Croix and so many others. So I 
than the first floor. I've done the Italian part, the European, the Spanish and French um, paintings and sculptures. Now I'm going to go to the African floor, Af African Asian floor, and then maybe I'll do the e Egyptian one. But it's it's been a while, so. I am a little bit tired now and it's already 12.30. I've been here since then. So if you want to visit the whole Louvre like uh, calmly in a more relaxed way, I suggest you take off an entire day to do that because it's a very, 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 very huge museum. So yeah, but I'm doing, I already knew what I was going to visit. So I took only the morning off, but still I haven't like done even half of what I was supposed to. Um, check out so this is what I suggest you do guys the funny thing is that I got lost because I couldn't find the African zone even though I kept seeing signs that were showing the direction so I then decided to visit the Islamic area and that one was beautiful I'm so glad I went there because it was very interesting so I'm glad I went there so I've been searching the African pavilion for like half an hour and I can't find it so I decided not to go there anymore and to visit like other things and I visited the Egyptian pavilion and now I'm just going home and the Islam one as well and now I'm just leaving because I'm tired, I just need a rest and I need to eat, so I'm going away. So at the end, uh, Lou and I are meeting at the Jardin de Tuileries. It's a huge park which is in front of Louvre, actually behind it. And we're gonna have we're gonna have lunch and then uh, spend the rest of the day together because I couldn't find her, so this was like the go-to spot to meet. So yes, and it's so cute. I'm going to show you right now. So Lou just brought me lunch. Yeah. She made me a baguette with filling and also a tiny yeah, little it's salad. Very well now it's with very the... cute. So <laughs> nice. This is nice. This yeah, is this nice. Is so fancy. cute. This is nice. She made it. Like a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. And we're like here in front of like Place de la Concorde. Place de la Concorde. And we're eating like in these chairs like everybody else is doing. And it was like on my wish list to walk along the sun, so I'm really happy. And now we're going to the. Um, <laughs> so now we're go going to see Notre Dame, and then we're going to a picnic because it's like her friend's birthday. Her name is Emma, so we're going to celebrate with her in a beautiful park. What's the park's name? A boot shop. Which yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's check it out together. <laughs> hey, I bring the bottle tonight. Red wine to rerun. All our memories ride. It's just a matter of time before your cheeks turn into peaches and the stars realize. Another glass of wine to find the diamonds in your eyes, darling. Another glass of wine. You know so we got to this beautiful uh, store, uh, which is like on the sun, and I'm buying some um, some postcards for my friends and also for me because I love them, and I usually put them in my room. She's also taking them home. They're like very, very cheap. Look at that. So pretty. We're kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed. And now your lips tattooed on the side of my neck. Another glass won't kill you, right? Gladly she replies. So, Lou said that now we're going to take the bus to go to see the, the Moulin Rouge. But from the outside, because if you want to get in, you must book a spot in the evening. But it was like 
all like booked till next month so we're just seeing it from the outside and and we're going to take the bus so that I can see the city also otherwise we would have taken the the subway and yeah so that's it and then we'll go to the picnic yeah and I am so happy today I've done so many things there's so many cute places so into the Moulin Rouge. It's so pretty and all guys we're going to see. Three, one, two, three. <laughs> So we're going to that place, Space Garrison, and it's so cool. We're like in a beautiful air. I'm in love. Yeah, she's taking me there. Yeah, it's the best place ever in Paris to to have shopping. Yeah, to do shopping. To do shopping. Go. Yeah, let's go. After the picnic, we headed towards Canal Saint Martin and we decided to celebrate the whole night because why not? We're young and we're strong and we had the most amazing night ever. I had so much fun and I'm so glad that I met all these beautiful people in this lovely city. I love that you love this music. 